So, you've always wanted to play guitar, and maybe you think, ah, oh, perhaps something's too late or too difficult. I don't know if you're young or old or whatever, but I'm going to do my best to teach you. I'm going to teach you my way, which is not necessarily the most kind of technical. We won't go too much into music theory or anything like that. Hopefully, we have a lot of fun, and I'm going to teach you how to play guitar. So each week, what I'm going to do, each week, I say each week, they probably won't come out weekly. Um, and and for each of you, you might want to think about, you know, how long to wait between each new lesson, because you, you can't just cram in all new learning all the time. What you have to do is practice. So what I'm going to do each session is I'll give you a chord, so you get a new chord to practice. I'll give you something technical. I won't bombard you with too much of that just enough so you can actually get going and then i'm going to teach you a song each week i'm going to give you a whole new song mm. that's the advertising the reality is obviously for the first three or four weeks i keep saying weeks don't i, I mean sessions but three or four first three or four lessons that i i make i won't be able to give you a whole song not really um, there is one i'm going to be able to get in um but I do just want to cover a few things that I think are really important to just bear in mind. I've got my notes here. Um, so don't worry about getting hold of a guitar. Beg, steal or borrow one is the old, the old saying. I would suggest you borrow one off a friend if you can find a friend who's got a guitar. Now, maybe you've started to come and do this course because you've already got a guitar. Um, that's, that's fine. But you probably want to choose a car guitar later on once you've got a bit of experience because they're all very different and have very different styles and so I wouldn't worry too much about picking guitar just yet. It's not saying about practice makes perfect isn't it? Well it's kind of true but actually it's not absolutely true because practice only makes perfect if you're practicing the right thing. So it's really important you just take things slowly, you slow down. And this will be more important later um, but you have come up with, you know, you imagine that you've got S-L-O-W, slow, slowing lessons, obvious weaknesses. Um, it's a terrible acronym, but the point is that by slowing things down, so we're just going to do something really slowly, you know, and it's like, okay, where are my finger? Okay, take one finger, okay, that one goes there, right, that one goes there. You can actually practice the right thing rather than okay. Oh yeah, what was the chord again? It was it was this, wasn't it? yeah, and, and it's all horrible. Yeah, so take your time, slow down, practice it slowly, and when you've got it going slowly, then you can speed things up and make it work better. And that's a much better way to practice. And the other thing I would say is experiment. Have fun. I mean, there are you know you can you can get guitar lessons that will tell you the correct way to hold the guitar and posture and all these things. And and the thing is, look, this is this is the cold kind of busky kind of easy way of playing guitar. There won't be anything like that. Just have fun with it. Relax. You know, if you feel it's comfortable to play like that, I mean, I find it. Oh, you know, I couldn't get my hands around, but maybe I could do it like that. <laughs> different way of playing and there are lots of really talented people who have done that they've experimented and come up with their own way of working so have fun with it i'm going to give you some tips that i found very useful that hopefully will make it a lot of fun for you